Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli and today our topic is how to share YouTube videos on X automatically. So here what I want is that as I regularly post videos on my YouTube channel that automatically to get the wider range for my videos I want to share that as a tweet on my X account. So here for that what I need to do is I need to build a connection between YouTube and X. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now with Pabli Connect, as I'm going to upload a new video or publish a new video on my YouTube channel, then automatically by using all those details and the video link, I'm going to create a new tweet on my X account. So how I'm going to build this connection? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can share YouTube videos on X automatically. So imagine here, I regularly upload videos on my YouTube channel and every time a new video is published, I want to share it on my X account automatically. So this will ensure that all my followers that I have on my X account are instantly informed about my latest videos without having to manually share each one. So by automatically sharing my YouTube videos as a tweet on my X account, I can reach a wider audience. So by using Pabli Connect, I want to automate this process so that every time a new video is published on my YouTube channel, a post or a new tweet is automatically created on my X account. So with this tweet, I'm going to add my video link and this will save my time and it will be ensuring timely promotion of my content. So here I'm going to simply build a connection between YouTube and X and that too without any coding and programming skills. And for that, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So here what will happen is that as I'm going to publish a new video on my YouTube channel, that automatically that video will be shared as a tweet on my X account. So here by automating my YouTube to X sharing process with Pabli Connect, I will ensure that my video promotions are timely and consistent and this will save significant time in this process. So here what I need to do is I need to use Pabli Connect and for using Pabli Connect, I just need to open a new tab and search for pabli.com slash connect in my browser and this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Now here in the landing page, I have these two options of sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then we can just click on this sign up for free button and it will take only two minutes of our time and we will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account, we can just sign in and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here for that, I just need to click on this access now button under Pabli Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here in the dashboard, what I need to do is I need to create a new workflow. And for that, I'm going to click on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to share YouTube videos on X automatically. Now what I need to do is I need to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and here in this tab, I will find all the folders that I have in my Pabli Connect account. And here I'm going to use this particular folder of YouTube videos. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on create. And now it will take us to this most important window of our workflow. And here in this window, I have these two boxes of trigger and action. So trigger and action are the two main principle on which our workflow works on and trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action is just going to follow that. So I need to first set up my trigger and here for setting up my trigger, I need to first search for my trigger application. So here my trigger application is going to be YouTube. So I'm going to search for that and I need to select YouTube here. So I'm going to select this. And now what I need to do is I need to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new video in channel with video URL is going to be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And now I need to connect YouTube with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will connect with YouTube. So I'm going to click here. Now here what I need to do is I need to click on continue to give access to my account. And here I have successfully connected YouTube with Pabli Connect in my workflow. Now what I need to do is I need to first select my channel ID and for my channel ID, I need to take you back to my YouTube account. And here, this is my only channel that I have, which is demo channel. So this is my channel ID. And in this channel, I have just uploaded this new video that has the title, let the sea set you free. So I have uploaded this on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to open this video. 
So this is the video title and this is the description of my video. Now I should take you back to Pabli Connect and here for selecting the channel ID I need to open this tab and here I only have one channel ID that is of demo channel but if you have more channel on your YouTube account then you can select any particular channel ID that you want to use and I'm going to select this particular channel ID here. Now for getting the detail of the recent posted video on my YouTube account what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button and here we can see I have received this response. So this is the response of the new video that I have uploaded on my YouTube channel and here we can see I have all these details. So here I have the title of my video that is let the sea set you free and I have this description that says see the magic of nature. So here I have the title and the description and I have all these other details like I have the video URL, I have the video ID, I have the channel ID, I have the width and depth of my thumbnail and I have all these other details of my thumbnail and here this is my channel title. So here automatically we can see that I have received the detail of my latest video that I have uploaded on my YouTube channel and as I have uploaded that video I have received the detail here in Pabli Connect. So here I have received this response but if you don't receive this response instantly then you don't have to worry because this is a polling based response and within the next 10 minutes you are going to receive this response from YouTube. So these 10 minutes are the polling time of YouTube and in every 10 minutes you are going to receive the response of the new video that you are going to upload on your YouTube channel. So in every 10 minutes what is going to happen is that YouTube is going to start capturing the new responses and if in that 10 minutes you are going to upload a new video on your YouTube channel then you are going to receive that response here in Pabli Connect. So this 10 minutes are the polling time and you need to wait for the 10 minutes for getting your response from YouTube. Now I'm going to scroll down and as I have received all these details of my video that I have uploaded on my YouTube channel. Now what I need to do is I need to automatically share this video as a tweet on my X account. So for creating a new tweet on my X account what I need to do is I need to set up my action steps. So I'm going to open this tab and here I need to first search for my action application which is going to be x.com or Twitter which was the previous name of X. Now I'm going to select X here and I can give my action event so I'm going to open this tab and I want to create a new tweet so I'm going to select create tweet as my action event so I'm going to select this and now what I need to do is I need to connect X with Pabli Connect in my workflow so I'm going to click on connect I will click on add new connection and now I have to click on connect with X now here for connecting X with Pabli Connect I need to first give my client ID and the client secret so how we can get these client ID and the client secret from X? For that we need to first read this documentation and for getting the documentation we need to click on this hyperlink by clicking on learn more and here it will take us to this link of forum. Now in this forum we can see that we have all the instruction of how we can set up this connection between X and Pabli Connect. So for connecting X or Twitter with Pabli Connect, what we need to do is we need to first open the developer portal of Twitter. So this is the link of the developer portal. So I can click here and I can open that. And now I need to click on this developer portal button. And here I need to get the client ID and the client secret. For that what I need to do is I need to first add a new project and an app. So first I'm going to go to projects and app. Now here in projects and app what I need to do is I need to first add a new app. So I'm going to click on this add app button and first I have to give a name to my app. So I'm going to name it as Pabli Key and I'm going to click on next. And now here it has generated this API keys but these are not the required details. So what I need to do is I need to first click on this app setting button and here in app setting I need to scroll down. And I need to first set up my user authentication settings so I need to click on this setup button here and I need to give my app permissions so I'm going to first give this permission of read and write and direct message. I'm going to scroll down and I need to select the type of app so this is going to be a web app or automated app or bot so I'm going to select that and now I'm going to give my app info. So first I need to give my callback URL and for getting the callback URL I need to take you back to the forum. I need to scroll down and now in forum we can see I have this callback URL so I need to copy this. I will go back to the developer portal of X and I'm going to paste that callback URL here in this tab. Now I have to give my website URL so this is also required details so I'm going to give my website URL so I'm going to type that. Now I have added the website URL so I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on save. 
I'm going to click on yes. And now as I've saved my details, I have generated this client ID and the client secret. So these are the required details that I need. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these details and I'm going to paste that back in Pabbly Connect. So I'm going to do that. And here I have added my client ID and the client secret. So I'm going to click on save. And now I need to scroll down. And here I have this option of authorize app. So I'm going to click here for giving the access to my account. So I'm going to click here. And here I've successfully connected X with Pabbly Connect in my workflow. Now I need to create a new tweet. And for that, I need to first give my message. So here in this message, I need to give the tweet that I want to post on my X account. So here my message will be new video alert. Check out our latest video on and here I need to add my video title. And after here, I'm going to add this to a new line and I need to give my video URL. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my response of YouTube and I'm going to add the required detail like I have to add the video title and the video URL. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my response from my YouTube step and I'm going to map those details here in this message. So for that, I need to use mapping and what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with their new data in the real time. So for mapping, I need to first clear this bracket and here I'm going to map the video title. So I'm going to open this tab of YouTube and here, this is the title of my video. So I'm going to map this. Now, similarly, I'm going to clear this bracket of video URL and I'm going to open this response of YouTube and this is my video URL. So I'm going to map this. And now I have mapped all the required details. Now, as I have mapped these details, I have made all these details dynamic. So what is going to happen is that every time I'm going to receive a new response of a new video that is going to get uploaded on my YouTube channel, then automatically the detail of that new response is going to get replaced here. And I'm going to receive the new detail in the real time. Now I have mapped the required details. So I'm going to scroll down. And now I have to click on save and send test to get button. So I'm going to click here. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response. And this means that I have created a new tweet on my X account and I've shared my YouTube video that I've uploaded on my YouTube channel automatically on my X account. So to check whether I've created a new tweet or not, let me take you back to X. And here on X, we can see I'm on my profile. And in my profile, we can see I've created this new tweet that says new video alert. Check out our latest video on let the sea set you free. So this was the title of my video. And here, this is my video URL. So here we can see that automatically I've created a new tweet on my X account. And in that tweet, I have shared my YouTube video that I've uploaded on my YouTube channel. So by clicking on this link, it will directly take me to my YouTube channel where I've uploaded my YouTube video and all my followers that I have on my X account can watch my YouTube video. So here I've automatically shared my YouTube video on my X account as a tweet by creating this automation between YouTube and X. So I have successfully created this automation now, every time I'm going to publish a new video on my YouTube channel, then automatically that video will get shared on my X account as a new tweet. So here I've successfully created this automation and I've successfully created this connection between YouTube and X and I've done this with the help of Pabbly Connect. So I'm going to take you back to Pabbly Connect. And now here in Pabbly Connect, I've connected YouTube and X to share YouTube videos on X automatically. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was YouTube and my trigger event was new video in channel with video URL. Then I have set up my action step and in my action application, I have used X or formerly known as Twitter. Then in my action event, I have used create tweet. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow. And you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description. So you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabbly Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate pabbly.com. And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabbly.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.